and useful to me, and, and I did not have a definition of what effective and useful were. So in that regard, you know, it, it wasn't simple that I could just show up and, and say something. Uh, but in fact, I, I had to figure out what it was I was looking for. The first thing I determined that was necessary was a track record and, and a forthright one, you know, one that spoke to dollars and cents, number of trades, trades per day, contracts traded, and things like that, not, not win or lose or targets one and two. And then the second thing I realized I needed was to make some money. And hundreds upon hundreds of sites speak about success and extra income and be wealthy. But when you ask them how much did they make, you know, the answer is always the same. We don't know. What is the definition of a second income? I don't know. When you say become successful, how, how much money is that? I don't know. So I chose $50,000 net. 50k a year because of the fact that the median salary in the United States is 50,000. So it's not an unreasonable number. It's not a million dollars. It's not a Bill Gates salary. It's just a, it's just an average salary. It's a median salary. And 50,000 a year is 1,000 a week roughly and basically 200 net dollars a day. You want to net 200 a day to net 1,000 a week to net 50,000 a year. And then the third thing was that there were lots of track records, but hid their trades by day. And uh, so they wouldn't show you what was going on. You couldn't see the entries and the exits and the targets and stops. And so then I realized I need to see the trades. I need to see them in real time. I learn by watching. Um, I can't understand what I can't see and don't know. And that was my third criteria. So a track record post a track record that nets $50,000 a year. And by the way, I normalize the 50K a year to three contracts a trade. And the reason that is, is that from the many hundreds of rooms that I have seen, two contracts a day won't make it. One will never make it, pretty much, but two is really a, a stretch. But three contracts a day is pretty good. If you trade three contracts a trade, you can net $200 a day and so on. And then, and then be able to see these trades in real time. When you apply those three criteria, you go from 800 and something, you know, 17 rooms where I'm at now to, to 12, to 12 rooms. And as you might suspect, since they're only like one out of 90 or one out of 80, it took me a long time to find each one because you can't Google search for a successful or most profitable or any of those you know typical search string parameters they just don't work you know likewise you know professional secret proprietary you know exceptional none of these words you actually have to go sort of find them you know physically find them and um, yeah <laughs> right so there's Patrick so um, and the idea is that, uh, so Patrick, you know, I, I ran a Google search string and went out to page uh, 380. That's 10, you know, 10, 10 um, entries on a page. So I went out to page 380. Patrick was like in page 90. Now, that seems like a lot, but, you know, the average person stops at page 1 or 2. They don't go to 12 or 90. So Patrick was essentially invisible to the cyber search universe, and so are the other, many of the other Tritons as well. And when I came into his room, un, you know, unprepared, you know, right? but he didn't have a track record, I like that. He did post his trades per day, per time, per index, I like that. And I came in and what I found was a, a delightful, pleasant, patient, polite, remarkably talented trader, all by himself, Right then and there, trading away, manifesting the most difficult, difficult to find disciplines of trading today. You know, there are a lot of rooms out there that use a technique of selling their goods and services that comes from the dark ages. And the technique or the method they use is called the goose that lays the golden egg. Now you know about this story, 
But the marketing technique is that the goose that lays these golden eggs can only be yours if you pay for the goose. You cannot see the golden eggs being made by the goose. They show you the eggs, they show you the goose, they tell you the two come from each other. As preposterous as it seems, people bought the goose, not seeing what was going on. There are dozens of rooms that post remarkable trade profits at night from trades that are hidden by day. And that is the goose that lays a golden egg. The difference is that the profits at night that they post are the eggs, the golden eggs, and the goose is the methodology that is used to generate those profits that is hidden from you unless you buy it first. So I just want to let you know that sometimes the methods that are used by these rooms to capture interest and to grab on to potential clients goes as far back as that ancient, ancient, decrepit method. Of the 811 rooms I've seen today, roughly 100, 722 are all sales rooms, no trading. So they're all vendor, no trader. They may have famous traders in them. They may look impressive. They may sound impressive. They may have graphs and charts, but they don't trade for a living. They sell. And I need you all to know that the, the returns from selling, selling things, goods and services, packages, pro, you know, programs, mentorships, those returns are far more lucrative than, uh, than trading itself. And Patrick, how do I see the, um, the uh, questions? I, I don't see the outside questions. Can you show them to me? It's possible yeah. Because has some questions. I'm going to uh, okay. open the room in a minute here. So, um, and the other thing, too, is that um, since this year has, um, you know, since January 2nd of this year, um, there are 103 new trade rooms have been formed. Now, I get them sent to me several ways. I see them on Eagle Partners out of Ninja. I see them on Online Trading Central, uh, you know, as people who pay to give their lectures. Uh, fellow traders, of course, um, email me all the time. Have you seen this? Have you seen that? You know, um, and, and, you know, sort of bang on my door. That's over 100 new rooms. So if you, if you spent one day in each room, you would be 35 rooms behind already at the end of this year. So a track record net 50,000 and show the trades in real time so that what you see you can replicate because for the first part of anyone's trading experience and knowledge and education you have to be able to shadow trade like shadow box or any other kind of shadow you know exercise where you can see look understand and replicate the finer sophistication of trading the expertise part of it if you will well that's you know that's hidden from view and, and very often you know traders say to me you know, how hard can it be you know to to trade you know you either buy or you sell but I can tell you it, that when you look at true talent up close very close it is deceptively simple the world's best baseball pitcher throws the ball, and the world's best batter hits it, and the world's best chess player moves his pieces, and the world's best poker player puts down some cards and keeps others, and the world's best trader buys and sells. At point blank range, it is deceptively simple. And so for that reason, we often think that we can pay attention at a casual distance, pick up some ideas. And I'll be candid with you, the basic pattern out there now in the world is teach and release. They have you come into their shop, they anoint you with some mentorship and education and, you know, methods and techniques and strategies and indicators. And then they release you back out into the wild as a fully formed trader. And you basically blow up on the spot, you know, at least I did anyway, and other people do too. And, you know, I think the, the model ought to be to stay and study because really good trading seems simple, but it's not. And to let you know that, you know, how hard this is, it's been almost 
four months since I found my next trade titan. Four, four months. And I haven't finished with him. I, mean, I just found him. But the idea is that he's trading truthfully, he's trading transparently, and he's trading profitably. I had to go through 117 rooms to find him. It just didn't sort of fall onto my plate. And if I pay attention to him for another few months, he may be actually good enough to go join the ranks of the 12. Now, Patrick is, is particularly accomplished in several ways relative to the, tri the Titans in, in general. One, he trades you know, up to five or six different indices at once. Not a, a lot of them only do two or three, some only do one, but he trades a variety. Secondly, he steps outside of the you know, futures index proper and does ETFs, he does stocks, he does mutual, bond, mutual funds. He actually trades the entire composite matrix of instruments and tools within, within his reach because his methodology, and I won't speak in detail to it because that would be inappropriate, but his methodology is structured in such a way that he can lift up the expertise that's implanted over a futures index and lay it right on top of an ETF. And you would think, well, you know, electron traded funds ought to have very little in common with ETFs, with futures, and you know, as a financial instrument, they they they're not the same. I agree. Futures instruments, for example, are governed by contract law, and ETFs are, are governed by securities exchange law. So one's federal, and one's state, and one's contract, and one's not. But the applicability of his techniques is almost near universal, and that's pleasing because it says you can take what he teaches here and apply to a stock. Apply to a bond, apply to a mutual, apply to electron trader fund, apply to a future. The other thing too is that he trades silver, and the reason I see you have the, also the uh, the bonds as well. But the reason I need to point out silver is that silver is one of the hardest of the indices to trade. He is the silver king, and there's only a few other rooms that trade silver. They don't trade as well as Patrick does, or as, as often as he does. And it is really a very, I mean, gold is traded by a lot of trade titans, I will agree. But silver, silver is a one-off one. So when I look at his, you know, his charts, I see them here. There, you have no question about what's going on. You have no question about, you know, he, he tells you the trade, he types in the trade, he shows you the trade, and the trade's in the DOM as well. That's DOM, D-O-M. I used to call it DOM, but... Uh, uh, Michael Bork at the uh, Christian Financial Radio Network corrected me and said it's Dom and not Dome. So um, 12 Titans, Patrick I think was maybe number 6, 7, uh, almost maybe a little 8 or so. And um, one question that's always asked me is, you know, is this list static? And the answer is no. Uh, it's a hard list to get on. And it's a hard list to stay on. There are a total of nine rooms that have been titans at one time that have fallen by the wayside, and for good reason. The biggest one is they stop posting their track record. You know, and I'm not an auditor, and I'm certainly not an accountant, but when I recommend someone, if they stop posting a track record, I get 200 emails complaining. How, how do I do that? Or they post a track record, but they stop making money. In a couple cases, their head traders quit and left, and he didn't replace them well. Too bad. In one case, a head trader retired. I'll take that. One, one case, he got sick, had to pull out. I'll take that, too. And another one basically said his business was going in a different way because he was merging and going in a, another way. Ah, that's fine, too. It's his business. He can do what he wants. But I want to let you know that this list, as difficult as it is to build and to you know, substantiate, is, in fact, refined constantly. So the one comment I can make to you as traders is to be patient, to be aware and patient. It took me years to find these rooms and months to substantiate them. And very often traders ask for some recommendations and get them and come back the next day and say, thanks, who is your next group? You know, I, I can't believe that they can substantiate the worthiness of a room in one day. I couldn't, you know, I'm a mathematician, it took me months. Um, so that's how I got to Patrick's room, that's why I find this room to be 
so unique among the others. The multi-index trading won. The fact that he, he is the silver king, it's very difficult. Two and three, he in fact is a multitasking trader going from indexes to stocks to mutual funds to ETFs, all under the uh, same mathematical approaches that he uses in his indicators and his strategies. So, uh, and I'm sorry I'm late. I, I um, yeah. you know, I had recently been labeled as a parhesiast. Does anyone know what a parhesiast is? P A R R H E S I A S T I C, parhesiast. Anyone know? <laughs> anyone heard that word before? Or a parhesiac? No? All right. Yeah, a parhesius is a person who, who speaks the truth uh, forcefully and, and continuously. And um, so I'm trying to help out some people who are in trouble from one of the more difficult rooms. Uh, yeah, a parhesiast is, um, is a person who speaks openly and truthfully and forcefully, usually against someone bigger than themselves. You know, speak, I speak out against the global futures industry. And since I reject 99% of the rooms, you can easily understand that I don't have, I have a lot of enemies, right? And some of those enemies have been particularly difficult towards some of the fellow employees that work there. And so I was on the phone trying to help their Florida lawyers um, grasp on to some of their, uh, their finer elements. Anyway, so I apologize for being late. Uh, I see... Uh, who do I know here? John Carper, I know you. You've emailed me. And Craig Kelly, I think you've emailed me. Bill Ray, I don't know you. Uh, yeah, you did. You emailed me or you emailed. Yes! <laughs> That's it. <laughs> you have the, uh, the 12 hour, the 12 hour laugh. Uh, sorry. Uh, sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, Robert Welsh, I. I think I know you too. Who's Jim? Jim, is this Jim B or Jim A or Jim M? Yes. We, we had a consult, me, I remember. Anthony. I have opened up. Oh, the Jim Ian. I know you. I have opened up the microphone for uh, the uh, uh, subscribers in the room or guests to be able to ask questions directly. Right. So, um, you know, I spend um, time in a couple of rooms each morning now. I also have a day job, which is making life more difficult for me. Um, I, I'm CEO of Forge Therapeutics, and I do some consulting on uh, mergers and acquisitions. And so I'm working with a company in, in um, North, North Carolina now that's merging with another company. It's taking every kilojoule of energy I have to keep up with them. But I try to be in a couple, two, three rooms every morning to see what's going on. And to, um, I'm in a private room now. I was requested to uh, come over and take a look. And I have um, had a good chance, you know, good fortune with uh, several private rooms. The most recent of them is Overnight Patterns with Marco Simone in, um, in Italy. His English is... and get it fixed and get it moved ahead so um, so you're in this room you're in good hands um, it is a, a treat to be here Patrick is most gifted and most pleasant and most patient uh, actually to be candid with you when I wrote up the article in um, in market clips when I was an associate editor there I basically still rank Patrick as the most honorable polite kindest person I've met and, and I can tell you that I've rejected not one but two rooms um, in the past that could have been Titans you know they look like they were close if not okay but they were derogatory and hostile and arrogant and belligerent and insulting and nasty you know I don't need that you know I don't need any if you need that I can <laughs> I can show you what rooms to go find but I want people out there who are polite and kind and courteous. You know, how, how weird, right, you know, to want that. So Patrick struck me at the time that I met him. And, you know, I wasn't anything 
much more than I wasn't anything when I met him. So and not the <laughs> I don't have a wear. I got some singers though, you know, like uh, Rick May sings. And he he, uh, he he's not very good, <laughs> and a couple other singers. And I, but when I met up with Patrick, you know, I, I had to convince him to let, let me sit in his room for a couple months for nothing. Um, and you know, I'll tell you, there's a, a lot of people threw me to the curb. You know, they can get out. You know, they don't want you around. You know, when I when I got a little bit more, you know, more settled, they they might they might reconsider. But there's a large group of rooms now that have basically slammed the door in my face. You know, and, and I don't know why they hide from me. I mean, they forcefully hide from me. And I know what they hide from me can't be in your best interest. You know, view my trades, get get lost. Winborn, they said if I contact him again, they're going to like file a harassment suit against me. A harassment suit? I'm asking him for a free trial. It's not like I'm asking him you know, to get like you know, a liver transplant or something. No, nope, they don't want anything to do with it. Don't come back. Don't don't show your face. Stay away. And a few other ones like that. Now, of course, you know. I have to use aliases to get in because even if I, you know, I, I need to be there quiet in the corner and pay attention. I was in Revan's room just now. He does this um, FOMAC trade, pretty cool. And um, uh, so I, I, I have one more room to finish up, the 13th. I have maybe a 14th after that. And that's it for the known universe. And if you know of any rooms that you think are worthy, there's probably a 99.99% chance I've heard of them and rejected them, but I would always welcome your ideas or, or suggestions, of course. So, uh, Patrick, is that, um, is, Dr. That, is that good? Dr. Is that Andy, enough? Do you have anything else you want to carry? I want to sincerely thank you for this unsolicited visit uh, to the room. Oh. It's an honor to have you here. Uh, I think, uh, as, as you know, uh, how I feel about what you're doing is something that is justified. I think the industry, particularly this industry, this sector, needed somebody like you to have the courage and the conviction uh, to speak the truth, uh, as you said earlier. And, and that's going to upset a lot of people that uh, obviously are not dealing with the truth. And, you know, uh, things will resolve themselves, as I believe they will. If you come in from the truth, you have nothing to worry about. Any questions at all in the room would be appreciated, um, as uh, Dr. Handley here uh, would be more than glad to answer any questions or I, uh, if you can address them. Yeah, um, of course. Yeah, I'm starting to take a few body blows, that's for sure. Um, and, I've, you know, I have received hundreds of emails from rooms that have every form of profanity, vulgarity, obscenities, um, ridicule, um, slurs, vicious, hateful um, comments, gender biased comments, every, um, every possible insult has been hurtled at me. <laughs> yeah, and um, and they come, you know, they come at a, a, a torrent of, you know, I'm upsetting the apple cart, as Patrick said. Um, I always close by saying one thing. Of course, this might be obvious, but it may not be. I don't uh, receive, when I wrote up these rooms and published on all the publications I've done for years <clears throat> are for free. I don't charge the rooms a penny. They don't offer any money either. <laughs> <laughs> but I wouldn't accept it, you know. So there's no exchange of of um, money, and uh, I was never paid to do these. In the world of science and medicine, where I come from, of course, we always write these up for free. We don't charge, and um, most of the journals uh, would scrub out all of my details and neuter my papers to the fact when you read them, there was no critical information, no names, nothing. Because they, you know, they rely on advertisement revenue and I was essentially taking a, you know, a blowtorch to everything out there. 
Uh, and then Futures Truth stepped forward and said that they would publish what I wrote word for word, and they did. And Market Clips stepped forward and said that they would publish what I wrote for word for word, and I did, you know, and I didn't get any money from either of them either. They didn't pay me to write anything. I have received no fees um, to to evaluate these rooms or do the analysis. Uh, the slow nature, yeah, you know, slow is another word for obvious, truthful, and forthright because there's a lot of fast rooms that you can't see, and they're not obvious, they're not truthful, and they're not forthright. Um, yeah, you can have a light lunch. You can definitely see what's going on. It's, um, I think the diversity of, of instruments traded here is a treat. You can, you can trade, you know, futures are on 24 hours a day, but the, Patrick is stepping way outside futures. So um, that's a good thing. Uh, what do you have? You have gold, you have the bonds, you have silver, you have, what's NUG? Is that the five-year note? The, the, J, the JN is what, the 10 year? NUG, NUG Nugget, Nugget is a gold mining uh, ETF. It's a triple X velocity that uh, is oh, a gold mining. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Oh, it's a stock. Oh. Yeah, it's a share. Okay. It's right an ETF. Here. It's a triple X ETF. And we use these ETFs to manage the risk away from uh, basically unlimited risk in trading the futures. We, uh, we day trade the futures market so nice. that uh, we can lock in a day trade in the futures and then override, or you might say, overlap that with a purchase of the ETF that we can hold on overnight. Uh, as you know, there's a lot of activity that goes on the Globex overnight that's very difficult uh, to trade, particularly if you're carrying an open contract in the futures contract, particularly a full-size contract. So what I'm finding to be extremely successful is the uh, management of risk away from a futures into a, a share asset like JNUG, like Nugget, that we can hold on for two or three days without the uh, risk of, uh, you know, waking up into, uh, you know, uh, somebody coming to take you home or something, you know, uh, which uh, has been done in the past with futures, <laughs> uh, particularly if you get caught in a limit move uh, if right. that lasts for weeks. So, um, yes, we use uh, what we can. My goal here is to... Uh, uh, meet the criteria of making two, three hundred dollars a day, and you know I'm very pleased to say that we've been averaging uh, uh, three, four times more than that. And as you can see here today, the profits that we made today simply superpass or exceed those objectives. Um, Dr. Handley, I want to thank you so much once again for the opportunity that you've given us to share your insights and your experience and your wisdom. And please know that you are welcome to come here anytime.